네, 안녕하십니까 아, 테슬라 이야기 전망 아, 얘기를 한번 해보도록 하겠습니다 아, 그 전기차 판매 실적이 중국발로 상승하고 있다는 얘기입니다 아, 테슬라가 본질적으로 어, 사실은 어, 전기차 제조 업체죠 어, 그래서 이 부분이 본질적으로 어, 호전이 되는 게 주가에 좋습니다 아, 중국에서 17% 상승했다는 얘기고 아, 워너 브라드 헬스 행사 그 로봇 택시 에, 이야기가 있습니다 아, 그리고 ASS가 이제 그 액츄얼리 스마트 서머이라고 해서 어, 호출하는 어, 그 소프트웨어 뭐 이런 거 행사가 있겠습니다. 샘 양입니다. 어, 일론 머스크가 그 테슬라 스포컴 센터를 전격 어, 공개했던 어, 내용을 어, 있고요. 이게 스마트 어, 어, 센터죠. 슈퍼컴퓨터 센터죠. 그 다음에 이제 테슬라 액츄얼리 스마트 서먼 어, 뭐 이렇게 파킹맛에 아주 이지하게 어, 쉽게 어, 파킹을 한다는 뭐 이런 얘기가 아예 나온 보고가 있습니다. 네. 네, 중국 판매 호조가 있다는 얘기고요. 테슬라 전, 전기차가 사실 테슬라가 어, 전기차 판매가 아, 제조 판매가 아, 메인이죠. 이것도 호조가 있어야 되죠. 아, 중국에서 17% 정도 판매 아, 상승이 있어가지고 2024년 아, 9월 4일 5일 날 아, 4.18% 급등했다는 얘기 있고요. 그 다음에 워너브라더 스튜디오 행사 이야기가 있습니다. 아, 로봇택시 시연회가 10월 10일 날 있는데 아, 이것을 준비하는 이야기가 있겠습니다. 아, 새 PDTV입니다. 감사합니다. 네 안녕하십니까 아, 세피디 t v 입니다 아, 오늘은 그 테슬라에 대해서 어, 전 국민들이 우리 한국인들 중에 많은 분들이 테슬라에 투자를 하고 있는 걸로 알고 있는데 테슬라에 대해서 한번 어, 얘기해 보도록 하겠습니다 아, 테슬라를 어, 중점적으로 어, 얘기하고 있는 곳이 여러 군데가 있어요 뭐, 테슬라 T 이런 데도 있고 그죠 테슬라 뉴스도 있고 동영상도 여러분들이 많이 올려주고 있습니다. 아 근데 이제 아, 일단 하나를 말씀드리면 아, 중국의 아, 판매 호조 그래서 테슬라가 아, 2024년 아, 9월 4일 아, 5일이죠. 아, 이때 아, 4.1% 아, 급등을 아, 했다는 것입니다. 아, 잘 아시죠? 그래서 중국 판매가 호조. 그러니까 예를 들면 어, 테슬라가 전기차 제조업체로서 본질적인 어, 임무도 충실히 잘하고 있다. 거기에 AI, 어, 또 빅데이터, FSD를 통해서 로보틱스까지 어, 더 잘하고 있다. 어, 덤이죠. 사실은 그 테슬라가 전기차 판매로만 해도 충분한 가격을 받을 수 있는 회사라고 생각이 됩니다. 왜냐하면 미래에도 전기차는 계속 생산이 될 것이기 때문에 그리고 지금 중국의 업체가 사실은 경쟁적으로 하고 있습니다만 세계 시장에서 테슬라의 위치는 흔들리지 않을 것으로 저는 생각이 됩니다. 왜냐하면 산업 생태계가 그렇고 또 관세에 대한 문제도 있고 또 중국이 워낙 사실은 그 어, 시, 어, 신뢰를 많이 잃었습니다. 아, 중국과 같이 사업을 해가지고 뭐 성공을 어, 한다는 어, 사람들이 없었다. 뭐 이런 얘기까지 다 나오고 있기 때문에 국제적으로도 마찬가지로 어, 그 중국과 손잡은 나라들은 어, 별로 이렇게 어, 경제 실적이 좋지 않습니다. 아, 그러니까 EU에서도 지금 어, 중국이 좀 따돌림을 당하는 것 같고 국민은 아, 당연하고요. 미국도 그렇고 어, 그렇습니다. 그래서 지금 어, 테슬라가 결국은 4.18% 어, 이렇게 했다는 거죠. 아, 급등. 아, 그러니까 이거 미국 주식은 뭐 하루에 뭐 4% 오르고 5% 올라가 떨어지고 이게 엄청 
납니다. 근데 이제 장기적으로 보면 등락을 하면서 오르고 내리면서 결국은 주가가 상해하는 그런 기업을 찾아서 투자를 하는 것이 그 결국은 목표 목적을 달성하는 것이라고 생각이 됩니다. 뭐 하여간에 이렇게 왔다 갔다 그러지 않습니까? 하, 하루 만에도 그렇습니다. 어, 여기 여기 보면 이제 중국에서 테슬라 전기차 판매가 호조를 보이고 있다는 소식에 어, 주가 간만에 4% 이상 급등했다 이렇게 되어 있습니다. 어, 219.41 1 달러 이렇게 되어 있고 어, 86,697대를 기록했다는 거죠. 월간 어, 판매량으로 사상 최고다 이렇게 되어 있습니다. 전월 대비 17% 어, 전년 대비 3% 증가하는 것입니다. 어, 근데 이제 BYD는 8월 대비 30%, 17% 보다 이제 한 거죠. 어, 그래도 호조를 어, 끼고 있는 거죠. 어, 그래서 어, 중국 판매가 호조를 보임에 따라 티슬라는 어, 중국 사, 상하이 공장에서 2025년부터 스포 스위트 어, 디차양 SUV 6인승 모델 Y를 생산하기로 했다 이렇게 되어 있습니다. 4% 이상 급등했다는 것입니다. 아, 그래서 이, 이거를 아, 테슬라 로봇 택시 이즈 커밍 아, 지금 10월 10일 날 아, 지금 아, 그 행사를 하게 되어 있죠. 지금 일론 머스크가 아, 좀 특별한 장소에서 지금 행사를 진행할 것으로 어, 보이고 있고 그것이 힌트로 나온 것이 거기에서 어, 시연을 아예 할 것으로 어, 보인다는 얘기도 있습니다. 어쨌든 어, 여러 가지가 있습니다. 이걸 한번 보시겠습니다. On today's episode, Tesla's robo taxi reveal gets leaked, FSD gets smart, the Model Y gets red, and the semi gets some juice. 네, 그렇습니다. The Tesla Robotaxi or Cybercab or Cybertaxi or whatever it's going to be called is set to be revealed to the people of the world on October 10th and the location of that reveal has now been revealed as the Warner Brothers studio lot in the Hollywood Hills above Los Angeles, California. Or at least that's what Bloomberg News has reported. It is yet to be confirmed or denied by Tesla at our time of writing, but Elon Musk hasn't jumped on X to call it fake news or lies yet either, so that's probably a good sign. We also have this interesting bit of information from at Green the Only on X, who's best known as a sort of Tesla hacker. What he does isn't so much hacking as he's just really good at uncovering all of the information that's hidden below the surface level of his in-car computer and its conversations with the Tesla mothership. Green wrote on X, so I guess recent Bloomberg news piece explains why Tesla started extensive data collection in WB Studio area four or so days ago. This is in addition to other areas like Tesla Diner, various SF and Bay Area pieces, and so on. And we can see in the screenshot that the studio lot is pretty much dead center of the rectangle being mapped out by Tesla, although it does cover a bunch of real streets and neighborhoods as well. We've heard before that this kind of biased data collection is a method that Tesla has been using for a while now to bolster FSD performance. They prioritize driving data from Elon Musk's personal vehicle and vehicles of popular Tesla content creators who publish their FSD experiences, then specifically train the neural network to perform better in those particular driving situations. So they'd more or less be doing the same thing with the driving environment in and around Warner Brothers. They're doubling up on data collection and AI training specific to the location in order to get the software performing as good as it possibly can. So the obvious reason why Tesla would use a giant movie studio to release their self-driving car is because Warner Brothers has a bunch of fake streets built on the lot that they can use for movie sets, which means Tesla can have a bunch of driverless cars cruising around in a real-world environment, but without having to worry about laws or traffic or anything like that. And then if all that goes well, maybe they can branch out to giving rides through the surrounding neighborhoods, which from some quick Google Street View investigation looks like pretty generic suburbs and would be relatively easy to navigate. If the cyber cab is going to meet expectations, then it's going to arrive without any traditional physical controls 
like a steering wheel or pedals, so there won't be any option for any people on board to intervene. So I definitely want to see that working on a fake road before I volunteer myself as tribute for a real-world demonstration. Now, you might ask yourself, why is Tesla doing a product reveal in Hollywood? Seems a bit weird considering the company has done all of their recent events at the Gigafactory in Austin. While Elon may have rage quit California and moved most of the company's infrastructure to Texas, Tesla's design studio is still located in Hawthorne, which is a suburb of LA, and theoretically that's the location where these robo-taxi vehicles have been in development. It wouldn't even be the first time that Elon has used the Warner Brothers studio set as a location for his product reveal. The Tesla solar roof was first introduced at a fake house on the set of Desperate Housewives. Many might remember that the solar roof tile was also a fake product at the time of that release, so here's hoping there won't be any movie magic involved in this new CyberCab reveal next month. Ever dreamed of owning a Tesla? Well, now's your chance to drive off in the Tesla of your choice or pocket $50,000 in cash. The 10th annual Tesla raffle from Chesa Chicago is here, and the prize? It's bigger and better than ever. Win a Tesla Model X, S, Y, 3, or even the futuristic Cybertruck. Don't need a car? No problem. You can choose $50,000 instead. But there's more. This raffle isn't just about winning big, it's about giving back. Chesa Chicago is a nonprofit dedicated to helping families in crisis. From food and furniture to job placement and government aid navigation, Chesa Chicago funds over 80 programs to help families get back on their feet. So support a great cause and head over to ccraffle.com, use the promo code TESLASPACE and get $25 off two tickets or $500 off 15 tickets. But hurry, only 9,999 tickets will be sold. Don't miss your chance, visit ccraffle.com and use code TESLASPACE today. Remember the drawing is on Monday, September 9th, 2024, or as soon as all 9,999 tickets are sold. Act fast and secure your chance to win big while supporting a great cause. ccraffle.com, use code TESLASPACE, and win the ride of your life. Tesla has released a much-anticipated new feature to the full self-driving supervised software suite, Actually Smart Summon, also known as ASS. It is a redesign of the Smart Summon feature that originally came out back in 2019. That was prior to the era of FSD beta, and back when the cars couldn't really self-drive at all, unless the car was empty and in a parking lot, in which case you could have it self-drive straight to your location, or at least it would do its best to move in your general direction. The feature didn't work very well, and basically just caused a bunch of chaos in a bunch of parking lots until most people just stopped using it altogether. So in 2022, Elon Musk promised that there would be a new, smarter version of Smart Summon that would come along one day and right the wrongs of the past. And that time is now. With the release of Actually Smart Summon, anyone still using the old feature has had their software relegated to Dumb Summon. According to the release notes of Software Update 2024-2720, Actually Smart Summon can not only still come to your location without a person in the driver's seat, but can now also drive away and park itself, a feature previously referred to by Musk as Banish. Ass allows your vehicle to come to you or head to a spot that you choose all on its own. It's like magic, but with more tech and less wand waving, the release notes read. Unlike its predecessor, ASS relies on Tesla's vision system and not ultrasonic sensors. As a result, ASS users will now get a live feed from their car's cameras to help prevent those situations where you might not have a clear line of sight to the vehicle. Of course, we've got Omar from Holmar's catalog who instantly jumped at the chance to sit in the back seat of his new Model 3 while it autonomously drove him around a shopping mall parking lot in the middle of the night, and it looked fine. So far, it appears that ASS is limited to vehicles with hardware 4 or AI 4, but as with FSD version 12.5, it will only be a matter of time before ASS comes to the rest of us lowly hardware 3 owners. A new paint color has been spotted on a Tesla Model Y at Giga Texas. This image is coming thanks to drone pilot Joe Tetmeyer and appears to reveal the new Midnight Cherry paint for the first time in the USA. Previously, this intensely deep red color was exclusive to the Giga Berlin factory. It's pretty cool, it's like, how much more red could this possibly be? None. Here's an image that compares the various Tesla red colorways, 
The Model X in the back is the classic multi-coat red. The Model S in the front is the current ultra red. And the Model Y in the middle is Midnight Cherry. Variety of color options has never been a strong suit at Tesla, but the company does seem to have a strong fixation on developing the ideal shade of red. So let us know, which one do you like? The state of California has been awarded $102 million for a charging corridor dedicated to zero emission class 8 trucks, with the route expected to also run through Oregon and Washington. Members of the Tesla Motors Club forum spotted an award recipient document and workshop meeting agenda from the California Energy Commission that details the roughly $102.4 million granted to the California Department of Transportation. This is part of the West Coast Truck Charging and Fueling Corridor Project. The project aims to establish as many as 34 trucking charging stations featuring five 350 kilowatt chargers each, along with five additional hydrogen stations sporting two dispensers each. We know that Tesla's dedicated semi-charging station is a much higher output at one megawatt of charging capacity, while these new California stations would actually be the same power output as Tesla's current V4 supercharging stall. So that's not a whole lot of benefit for the semi in terms of charging power. It's really a bit hard to imagine if anyone would really benefit from such an underpowered charging station. But anyway, the new state funded stations would still have the advantage of being laid out specifically for heavy trucks, which is what the semi needs more than anything. It can't just pull up to a regular supercharger station and plug in, so having any opportunity to charge is still probably better than no charge, I guess?